Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're going to finish where we left off. <clears throat> Pick up where we left off and then finish the game. So, we were on a haunted island. Martin is terrified of ghosts. Mystery Monkey is glad we're here. Koala has been in the water for a long time. And Larry wants to make some dynamite. So... That's where we are. That we have two people we haven't talked to yet. And a strange face that went away. Interesting. <clears throat> ah, stop right there. Hmm? Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please, be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. Uh, about that cave. Do you know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure it's a cave. It just looks like a pile of rocks, if you ask me. It's a cave, for sure. Well, I guess we'll just agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. Ask me questions, just be careful. About the tiny shells. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool! Hey! Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Alright, nothing else. Thank you for... I'll come back later. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I have just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. Mm hmm? If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You are not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh. Well, is it okay if I ask some questions? You have some questions? Questions. Yes. You're nervous. <clears throat> you seem very nervous. May I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing. I told you. Um, I am afraid of detectives? Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? F 
Fine, you've worn me down. Damn, your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Huh? Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wash mouthwash in return. Sure thing. I'll do my best. Questions. Yes. Uh, the ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? Huh? Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh. Ghost scientist. Not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know. Hmm? Uh, you know. Because you like toast. Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Questions, yes. About that bottle. What's in that bottle next to you? That's my mouse, ma mouse wash mouthwash. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes the best. I'll get to it. Thanks. And that is everything. Okay, so let's see if we can remember from yesterday. We need the mouthwash to give to Fresh X, who has the toothpaste we need for the explosive. The broom we have, we need to get the wool, which you will let us sweep up. Noodle. I may not have all the answers, but go ahead. Ask away. Broom. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Phew. Got wool. So we need the wool for the explosives. And now Noodle is happy with a broom. Oh dear. That's a cute crab. Making a big O with their mouth at the ocean. Okay, and hi, Mystery Monkey. I don't remember what voice I gave anybody yesterday. Questions, yes. What would you like to know? Uh, dance styles. Hey, so, uh, you, uh, you like dancing and, um, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, in what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, hmm. 
I think breakdancing is so neat. If I saw someone breakdancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far as to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Got a monkey fact. And we just heard about the shell they want. And Koala has a shell and wants a magnet that I picked up earlier. Always with the questioning. Is there anything you need to know? Um, the magnet? I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great. Thanks. Wow. Real magnet. Got a shell. And now we can come back and talk to these two again. You have some questions? Questions, yes. Dance styles. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Got mouthwash. Mouthwash. And now you're gonna start practicing dancing. That's amazing. Caterpillar. Fantastic. Amazing. I love it. Always asking questions! Ask me questions. Just be careful! Big shell. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool. Thanks. You're still standing, Weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Got a magnifying glass. And you have a big shell. Congratulations. Fresh X on this nice stormy day is taking the day off to lie on the beach. Back for questions. Take it away, D Tech. Mouthwash. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing! Thanks! Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot! Here you go, D Tech. Got toothpaste. Fantastic. And finally, we needed pasta from Bernie. Questions, questions, questions. What else do you want to know? A uh, magnifying glass. I have a spare magnifying glass, if you're interested. <gasps> interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? 
Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give him my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love, apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. Hey, I got an achievement. Hustled hard for normal explosive ingredients. Hi, Larry. More questions? Ask me them. The questions, I mean. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow! You got everything? Yup. Amazing! Shall we make some dynamite? Uh, yes. Let's do it. Nice! I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get it exploding, baby! Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry. Explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. <laughs> hey, it's open. Go. A lot of mushrooms. Some strange noises. Looks like a ladder. Can I sort of go down the ladder? Can I go back up the ladder? No. Well, we're stuck. That's it. We're going to die and join the ghost. Oh, hi. <gasps> Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy! Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around the local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah! What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh... Hmm. Geez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. Ha ha. Ha ha. Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? Ha <laughs> ha. Nah, just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to drain. You've... been... dancing? For two weeks straight? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. 
Mushrooms are disgusting. I agree. That's your opinion, detective. I also agree. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it'd sound super warped, too. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Haha, <laughs> really? Haha, <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. Haha, <laughs> then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. Huh? Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi! Hey! Hi! What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... what? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... my ghost books! I was so sure it was a ghost! Nope, just me. It just goes to show you never should trust books. Always use the internet instead. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yup. <laughs> Hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which good books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of, validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. So, anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yup. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition? Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hard-working friends who could use a good boogie. But they won't be here until tomorrow. They won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah. 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 Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry. Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yup. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go. game by Grace Bruxner. 
Programming, Thomas Bowker. Soundtrack, Dan Golding. Thank you for playing. Special thanks, Doug Wilson, Lisa Kane, Terry Bordek, Jake Strasser. Regular thanks, Nico Delseldrop. Uh, a bunch of names are going by too fast for me to read them all. Sorry. I like the dance party. I like that Mystery Monkey has only one move. As promised. Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. I'm not sure that's breakdancing, Mo. Mystery Monkey's one move, everybody. It's a good move. And Koala. And Frog Detective. The Detective. Oh dear. Um. You know, it was, I don't think it was breakdancing, but it was pretty good. I'm going to go with Mo. Bye. Yay, Mo got a trophy and a bunch of roses. I just got a achievement. Picked a winner. When will this game end? <laughs> getting smaller, presumably because the detective is in the boat leaving. How are they getting home? A little bit later. Oh, we got another picture. Okay, sure, sure. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective! Supervisor. Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where did you see that? It was on TV, every channel. Every channel? In HD! Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available. Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. The Detective will return in. The Case of the Invisible Wizard.
just enjoy the soundtrack. This game is so... This, the music is so good. Frogdetective.net. That's where the blog is, I believe. You can go read it and see Mystery Monkey's posts. Comments on him. I just got the achievement. Answered the call. Okay, this is the end, right? Yep. This is the end. Thank you for watching. Um, short little thing, uh, but I, I enjoy it. Like I say, I, I like the writing. I like, it's very... It's very my style of humor. Um, and remember never to trust books. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'll do any of the other ones, but this one, I thought I wanted to do at least one. So, uh, at some point, I will come back with another game series of some kind, probably, at some point. I just haven't decided. I haven't decided what, uh, or when, or how. Kind of, kind of trying to take it easy. It's a casual channel. I don't have any, I don't have a lot of viewers, so I have no pressure. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.